Hey, this is Rob Campbell. Welcome to my XD1 workout. Today, this workout is going to require about 30 minutes of your time, moderate intensity level. The only things you'll need is yourself and one dumbbell and maybe some lifting gloves. Make sure you choose a dumbbell that you can keep for the entire workout. We'll be doing various movements, pushing, pulling, and some swinging motions. So make sure you choose an appropriate weight dumbbell. Let's go to work. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is a little warm up. Let's get the joints warmed up a little bit, get the blood flow going. I like to do arm circles. I like to do them to the front. Just arm circles to the front. Take them to the back. We're going real shallow, lateral movement here. And then we're gonna take them up wide, nice and slow. Rotate them back. Ah, it feels good. You'll notice on a lot of my videos I shoot Outdoors, I love nature. I love to get fresh air. We out here in Stephen City, Winchester, Virginia area, Shenandoah Valley. A lot of nature out here, a lot of fresh air. I love this environment. Okay, we're going to the sides. Elbows up, arms away from the body. Lateral movement. See that? Watch my torso. Keeping the abs clenched tight. Twisting the hips slightly. Then we're going to intensify. We're going to pivot on the feet on both sides. See that? Getting the whole body warmed up. Then we're going back to my arms again. We're going to change the arm movement as we go through this. We're going to stretch them all the way out. So now you can see my back as I make my turn motion. So it's a totally different move now. So we're getting nice and warm. Now we're going to speed it up some. Turn them into punches. Watch my hands. Getting punches now. Nice good warm up. Now we're gonna take them up top on an angle. Stretching them out. Being careful to make sure you keep the abs clenched. Nice. Okay, same move. Now we're going to the ground. We're touching the toes. Each side. All the way up. All the way up, all the way down, each side. See that? It's good stuff. By this point, you should be getting nice and warm. This is going to loosen up the lower back. Get everything working good. Okay. Now, we should be nice and warmed up. We're going to start the XD1 workout. One dumbbell, moderate intensity, really good for fat burning, building strength and endurance. Okay, I chose a 20 pound steel hex dumbbell for my workout today. There's various types of dumbbells. You can get the rubber coated uh, dumbbells. You can get the kind that you have to actually put together yourself. But I prefer the steel hex dumbbells. Um, nothing to put together or anything. They don't fall apart. Very sturdy, they'll last for years and years. All right, so this is my number one choice. All right, first move, we're gonna do a basic reciprocal curl. And you'll see my elbow, it's really close to the side of my body. As I come down, I'm bringing that hand right by my thigh. As I come out, I'm gonna twist my hand, turn my palm toward my shoulder, squeeze at the top, and then I'm bringing it right back out to the home position really slow. So we're getting a negative repetition in here because we're fighting the resistance of gravity that wants to pull the arm down fast, okay? See that? So we're not going through them really quick on this, okay? Nice and slow. Do each movement. Remember, keep the abs clenched. Don't necessarily suck in, but more like a clench, as if someone was going to punch you in the stomach and you kind of tense up. That's what you want to do for each and every movement. Okay, we're going to switch hands. We're going to try the curls on the other side. By this time, your bicep should be getting nice and warm, getting blood flow going through there, getting into action. It's good stuff. Biceps is your pulling muscle. Whenever you pull anything, chances are your biceps are going to work. Even when you're lifting weights and you're doing back work, where you're strengthening your, your upper back and mid back, your biceps is your pulling muscle that helps you complete those movements, so you want to keep those strong. 
This is the muscle that you use to pick up grocery bags and things. Pick up your kids and grandkids, all right? Now, we're going up top. The back of the arms, the triceps. We got to work those too. That's your pushing muscle. Anytime you, you go to the floor, you got to push yourself back up. Or if you're getting up off of your bed, for average people, or if you get up out of a chair, that type thing, or if you want to brace yourself against a desk or anything like that, your triceps on the back of your arm is the muscle that's working. If you're doing push-ups, your tricep is your pushing muscle. All right? So we're going to work the triceps. You want to do one curl, hammer-style curl, no twist. Straight up, just like that. Bring it straight up, rack position, and we're going to push it up to the sky. I want you to grab right here for stability. Keep the elbow high up in the air. Drop your arm back, just like that. And we're going to push it up. Just flex it. Snap it up to the top. See that? Whole time, keeping the abs clenched. We're going to work those abs through every movement we do. We're going to work the abs. Pushing it up. Pushing it up. Snapping it at the top. See that? Triceps getting major work right now. Pushing it up, snap it to the top. Snap it up. Snap it up. Snap it up. Okay. Rack position. Back down. Switch hands. Safety's first, okay? You always want to make sure you do things properly. Come right back down to the rack position, back home, and switch hands, all right? Now, back up again. One hammer curl, rack position, up to the sky, drop it back, and push. Keeping the abs clenched up. It's good work. Just great stuff. Building the triceps. Keeping the pushing muscles strong. You see, we want to strengthen the entire body. Everything you do is going to require some muscle activity. The better you keep your body well-rounded and great shape, the better you'll be at everything you do. All right, got the triceps working. Push it up. Snap it up. Snap it up. Stay with me. Snap it up. Snap it up. Snap it up. Right position. Back home. Not bad. All right, if you're still with me, you're doing great so far. Okay, XD1 workout, just one dumbbell, lots of calorie burn, lots of fat burn, lots of muscle endurance, and stability building. Okay, we're going to move on to some more intense movements. You're going to take your dumbbell, you're going to bend at the waist, bring your dumbbell to the ground, almost touching the ground, but not quite. Just maybe three or four inches off the ground. With the knees, you want to bend the knees slightly. Okay, bending at the waist, pushing the hips back. So you never want to do this thing where your knees are coming past your toes. That's bad on your knees and your joints, okay? So what you want to do, bend at the waist, push your weight back, drop your dumbbell right down the middle, just like if you were a lineman playing football, okay? And you're going to take that dumbbell, and with the legs, knees bent, you're going to come back to the up position, just like this, but as you do that, you're going to take your dumbbell, you're going to snatch your dumbbell up, pushing your elbow back, keeping it close to your body, just like that. That's the first part of the movement. So you're going back down, bend at the waist, push the hips back, knees bent, popping up, yanking the dumbbell up, and snatching it up to the shoulder, just like that. Boom. That's your snatch. That's your snatch. Make sure you do every part of the movement correctly because we want to avoid injuries, okay? Dropping the hips, dropping the hips, dumbbell about four inches off the ground. And you can put your left hand right on your thigh for stability if you like, okay? And we're pulling it up, elbow going back, snatching it up to the shoulder. Snatch, down and snatch, down and snatch, down and snatch, down. And snatch. down. You snatch, just like that, real simple. Down, you snatch. Okay, now we're going to switch hands. Same move, might feel a little different because you're going to the other side. Don't change anything. Dropping the hips, bending the knees, arms straight, dumbbell four inches off the ground. Pop up, snatch. Down, snatch. Down, 
and snatch. Down and snatch. Just like that. Real simple. Make sure you keep that elbow close to the body. You don't want to do this wing out thing right there. Okay? It's too much wear and tear on the shoulders. Okay? Keep it close to the body. Down and snatch. Down and snatch. Now, it's really good movement. My heart's beating. Okay? Get your heart going. Get your cardio built up. But now, we're going to intensify this movement. We're going to add an extra move to it. Okay? Let me wipe my face off a little bit. It gets hot in Virginia. Okay? Okay, I got my 20 pound dumbbell. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to add a press to it. So, we got the snatch. Now, we're going to add a press at the top. So after we do that snatch, we're in a rack position. We're going to push it straight up to the sky. Okay, don't change anything with the hand position. When you do your snatch, your palms should be facing forward. Straight from there, right up to the sky. Make sure you don't do this lean thing and pushing the elbow out or anything like that. Keep it real simple. Elbow close in, straight up push. Here we go. Down, snatch, press. Down, snatch, press. Down, snatch, press. Down, snatch, press. Keep the abs tight. Down, snatch, press. Down, snatch, press. Nice. Good job. Now we're going to the other side. Same move. Don't change anything, okay? Just the hand position. Here we go. Down, snatch, press. Down, snatch, press. Keep the abs tight. Down, snatch, press. Down, snatch, press. Down, snatch, press. Down, snatch, press. One more. Down, snatch, and press. Right position. Back to the hips, to the ground. Give yourselves a hand if you're still with me. Nice work. Now, if you need water, this would be a good time to get it. That was part one of the XD1 workout. We're just getting warm. Get yourself some water. See you back here in two minutes.